So I've probably got the hottest driver shaft currently out on tour in my hands, and we're gonna test it in this video. I've got three different options, different profiles that we're gonna take a little look at, and maybe see why the likes of Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, Cameron Smith, plus many of the world's best players are using these shafts. So driver shafts on the market now, there's tons of options, isn't there? But we are seeing on a regular basis, week in, pretty much week out, that Ventus Velico is winning on tour most weeks. It seems to be the hottest shaft out there at the moment. I've got three of them in my hand. So I've got the Ventus Red, the Ventus Blue, Ventus Black. We're gonna hit all three and just look at some numbers and maybe give you some feedback as maybe which type of shaft might be suitable for you and your sort of swing delivery, etc. But maybe see how these shafts actually perform and if they are worth their price tag because these shafts are about $350 per shaft. So the Ventus shaft, is something that we see with many of the manufacturers over the years offering it as their stock option. But these ones have actually got the word Velocore written on them. And when they have that Velocore written on, they are more of a premium product. They are, have got different materials, some high-end, more expensive materials, some different technology going into this shaft to help create the best possible performance. But that does come with a little bit of a price tag. So these shafts typically are a little bit of an upcharge against the standard Ventus. So the idea of the Ventus is to significantly tighten the shot dispersion and maximize ball speed, especially on those miss hits. So we're going to start off with the Ventus Red, which is more of a mid to high flight characteristics of the three shafts that we're going to take a little look at today. I'm hitting all in the same head. I've got the Callaway Rogue STLS, so the low spin head, 9 degree, you're going to keep that the same for all of these. Okay, and that was a nice strike, just a tiny bit up the right hand side. Pretty much a, a sort of highish ball flight, I would sort of say. The strike was pretty good, getting out to that 295 mark. So, as I mentioned, there is a lot of technology going into it. I'm not going to reel all this off, but I'm going to put some clippets from their website of really what's going into these Velico shafts uh, to create the performance that they are creating. But as I say, these are used on tour. You know, we've seen week in, week out golfers are winning using the, the Ventus lineup of shafts. So, there's got to be something in these shafts that is a bit of a magic dust in a way why so many are switching so many are using it felt a little bit healy yeah touch so the weight on this Ventus Red 6 in an X-Flex is coming exactly at 66 grams of weight and it's got a 3.1 degree of torque in this uh, tip section. And then the profile of the shaft is we've got a little bit more of like a stiff tip section, a firm midsection and then an ultra stiff handle section. And I think I can definitely feel there's a little bit of liveliness in this particular shaft coming through that impact, which sort of makes sense to how this is then becoming a bit of more of a mid to high sort of launch characteristic. Right, so switch the red out. We've now got the Ventus Velocore in the blue. So this is, again, a 6X, uh, and this is coming in at 65 grams. So very similar on the weight to a C to the red, and exactly the same on that torque of 3.1. But the profile of the shaft is changing a little bit. We've now got ultra stiff in the tip section, stiff in the mid section, and firm in the handle. So very much of a different profile to what we've just seen in that red. So we'll be interested to see how this feels different. And again, and I think shafts, yes, the performance and, and numbers off track, man, strike, spin, launch, everything is obviously very, very important, isn't it? But I think also the feel of a shaft to a golfer. I think that you can react to a certain shaft, whether it feels too heavy, too light, um, maybe too stiff in the handle, too stiff in the tip. Um, the feel of it, you know, I think it's also very much a player preference. Yeah, and, and straight away, that, I mean, that was a little bit of a pull up that left-hand side, but that didn't feel as lively. Definitely felt a bit firmer in that end of the club, you know, in that tip. A bit more, what I would say is like a bit more stability through that hitting area. I mean, that was a relatively good strike, so it'll be interesting to see what happens if I just get it off centre a little bit. Just a tiny bit leaky up that right, but the strike felt very solid. Yeah, very much of a central strike. And again, that'll be one thing I'd be wanting to look at, maybe differences between these shafts, the consistency of that strike pattern. If you get something that matches up with your speed, maybe control and stability in this tip section, we'd like to see we get a little bit more control of the head because you can appreciate the shaft is always going to have that droop, that bow down. It's always going to have that sort of kick at the bottom. And that can obviously just affect a little bit of strike pattern depending on how that links in with your sort of speed. And maybe your, your 
sure how you release the club as well. So one of the main ingredients of this Velocore technology is a pitch 70 tonne carbon fibre material that you're using which is up to 150% stronger than a material they, they normally would use. So that's where you're going to get that extra sort of stability and again it's, it's higher MOI so those miss hits we're going to see less potential of twist and that twist will all happen around the shaft itself. So tighter dispersion, more ball speed or more consistently higher ball speed. Again, just a touch leak at the right. That was a little bit tall. I did feel that toe strike, but again, that did feel pretty stable there. Pretty good ball speed, 161, getting out at 294. So question to you, have you got an upgrade shaft in your driver, maybe like a Velico where you've paid extra than the standard price to put that type of shaft? And how did you go about doing that? Did you go through that through a fitting and was it worth paying that extra money? So finally moving into the final one, the Ventus Black. And this again is a six in an X. So again, exactly the same weight, 65 grams. It's coming in at 3.1 torque in that tip, but again, a very different profile in this black version compared to the others. So we've got ultra stiff in the tip, same as what we saw in the blue. We've got stiff in the midsection, but then we've got ultra stiff again in the handle. So this is probably more aimed at that real stronger player, which is probably where you see the likes of Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy using the, the black version in this Velico. It does look very sleek in the black, I must admit, just that silver graphics at the top. Okay, let's get things underway with the black. Oof, that's an absolute cracker to kick things off with the black. That felt really solid. Now the strike was pretty good, ever so slightly in that toe of the club, but that's never a bad place to hit it. You see good 273, 303 on that total. And again, going back to that feel aspect of the play, that does feel considerably different, especially against that red, which is obviously was a lot softer in that mid and the tip section in relation to this. So the, the feel of how that club unloads on the way down, should I say the shaft unloads on the way down, you're gonna probably feel that and there's dif definitely a difference of that feel, a lot more sort of stable feel, a little bit more that stiffer feel to it, as you're gonna expect. Oh yeah, it does feel good that. It does feel very solid. Again, very nice ball flight, good strike. Be interested to see the strike location when we take a look at the numbers towards the end after we've hit this. Very similar numbers again to that first one. Ooh, right, that's a test. That's a toe one. It's flown pretty straight, just a little bit of a pull up the left. Felt a bit more toe than maybe what Trackman is showing there, but yeah, lost a little bit of ball speed, but not a huge amount there. Again, just going back to that feel, obviously I hit the toe there, I can definitely feel some form of twist in there, but definitely not as much as maybe what we felt in the red version or even the blue for that matter. Don't mind that as a bit of a miss. If I'm gonna miss strike it like that, you sort of don't want that ball to be venturing offline too much. Again, that's a bit off the bottom. A little bit of a left to right shape, but it should just about find that fairway with that shot, yeah. A little bit slight low here. You're gonna to expect to sort of see a little bit of that. But again, maybe that ball speed, 162. I thought I might drop a bit more than that. And I thought the spin would definitely jump higher than that with that slight low heel. So 2.7 on that spin isn't bad from that particular strike. So that's helping to get or keep a bit of distance on that, what was pretty much a poor strike. So maybe as a bit of a, a, a confidence thing between those three shafts, I definitely feel a little bit more confident with the black. I feel like I can control my strike a little bit more. It feels like my misses, when I do miss the strike, the ball isn't getting away from me as much. Well, again, we're going to look at dispersion. We'll look at strike patterns between all these drivers. Shafts, should I say, not the drivers, the actual shaft, because the head is exactly the same from shot to shot. Oh, that's ripped. That's a stunning ball flight. I wouldn't say that's mega lower in comparison to maybe even the red or the blue, to be honest. I don't think the launch, to me, has changed massively, but the feel, definitely. I think the, the the, the strikes, I think we're gonna change a little bit. That was a nice shot there. Okay, so there's some shots hit with the red, the blue and the black. Let's go and check some numbers and see which one is giving me the best performance. Right, okay, so let's look at dispersions and strikes, which for me are quite important just before we look at the actual physical numbers themselves. So this is the Ventus Red, so the more um, sort of softer of the three shafts, essentially, and you can see flashing white there. And it's pretty good. Front to back dispersion was pretty good. A little bit left to right, but to be honest, I've seen that left to right with all those three shafts. That's, that's a bit more me than the, obviously the shaft itself. 
Look at strike pattern there and those seven shots we've hit with each of these shafts. You see a heat patch there, pretty consistent, ever so slightly in that toe section there, but pretty consistent, quite a nice sort of strike pattern. We then move into the blue. Okay, we can see again, a very good sort of strike pattern moving, maybe a hair up and a little bit towards the, the sort of heel, but still very, very sort of central. You can see in the orange, very similar pattern to what we saw with the red, probably distance a little bit as well as dispersion. And then moving into the black, which felt really good to me, felt very stable. You can see the strike pattern wasn't quite as good. I mean, it's still pretty good, but you can see a few toes, a few heels. And maybe that's, you can see a couple that are dropping off a little bit short here. They'll be like probably some low spinners, which we're gonna look at that spin number. A little bit maybe tighter in terms of the left to right, but the front to back maybe not quite as good. Okay, so if we look at the averages of all those shots we've hit, so we've got the red at the bottom, the blue, and then the black. So we can see club head speed, pretty identical. The black just moving a fraction quicker there, but not by much. Ball speed wise, pretty similar in relation to maybe what we're sort of seeing as a club head speed. So around that 163, 163.7, these are averages. Launch, you can see the red just launching a touch higher than the other two, 11.5 against 10.5. That's not a bad thing for me. Obviously we can change potentially loft a little bit. The spin is quite similar, isn't it? You can see around that sort of 2000 mark with them all, with actually the black spinning a tiny bit more. Again, probably because I've moved that stripe pattern around a little bit more with the black into that heel and toe. Uh, maybe a little bit low sometimes. Obviously that's gonna affect the spin as we know with drivers. Carry distance exactly the same. Total looks pretty identical. I think for me, the, 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 probably the blue is just edging it. You know, that strike pattern location, the consistency of strike is good, I like that. It felt stable, but without it being maybe too stiff, but I did like the feel of the black. But I think as a, as a numbers there and the strike pattern, I'm not too keen on the black moving around too much, maybe just a bit too strong for me, possibly. The blue, probably a little bit of a better fit. Appreciate you watching the video. As always, comment, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and hopefully it will catch up with you all very soon.